Okay. So welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Nevin. If you are new to these classes, welcome. Really nice to uh, see, see you or meet with you like this. And today we're going to be doing slightly something slightly different from what we have been doing in these classes. So we'll be using weights um, as we are doing our yoga practice with all like the key elements of yoga, including attentiveness, including being aware of like what is happening in the body and then the mind, and then the sense of union uh, that we kind of keep as the main theme of these classes. It's still going to be there. But since we have the uh, additional props, let's say, get some either cans of food or water bottles uh, and, or something like therapy ball or just handheld weight. Or if you don't have any of those, it's all good. Just have them handy. Maybe also have a blanket to cover yourselves at the end when we do the Shavasana. And grab a water bottle uh, which just just to keep yourself hydrated i have this one so i have two other bottles so i think like three bottles i have handy here so as we begin the reason why we are doing this actually uh maybe twofold as we get wiser but at the same time a little bit older you know our body is being used we tend to lose uh, muscle mass and then bone density kind of uh, gets less. So good to add a little bit of weight to our practice, even during our yoga. And this could be also like while you are walking as well, you can have sometimes handheld weights or maybe like ankle weights and then just have a little bit of more almost like resistance or kind of additional factor to keep in mind for all of the muscles and joints so that they stay healthy and they stay stronger. The other thing, if you look at this from yoga perspective, there is a principle in yoga that is called uh, balancing effort and ease. And it's really like based on the breath itself being inhalation and then exhalation. In Sanskrit, the, the wording is like stira uh, sukam asanam meaning like when you are doing something it could be a pose or it could be an action watch out and be careful to manage effort with the ease or don't be like uh always efforting 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 like doing too much and then forget about ease or just do always like gentle yoga i'm good like that and then not do any kind of hardcore yoga a little bit you know I guess you, you just see what, what I mean. Uh, so that's why it's good to have these kind of a little bit more really active practices. And don't take it as like a judging about your body, bringing it like in a good shape. That's maybe part of it, but that's really secondary or maybe like third or fourth in ranking. But it's really maintaining our muscle mass kind of strength, inner strength. That's, uh, let's say, the key principle. And then as we begin, we're just going to start regularly like as, as we are doing but a little bit of like movement to just bring the in, or increase the awareness of our body so roll your shoulders and then reverse this shoulders coming to the front and down front down and lift up that one more time and just release find your long neck here and then do something just with the head turn to one side to the center and then to the other side gently waking up the uh, cervical vertebra and then back and just coming to the center now we're going to squeeze and release almost like everything including our face and with your hands also, you can make a fist and then take a moment to squeeze everything, including your face, all of the muscles, and then release. Do that two more times. When you release, when you squeeze like that, hold the breath in, including your belly, your toes, your fingers, everything, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then one last time like that. 
Squeezing everything. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Tight, tight, tight. Hold the breath in. Feel the tension. Tightness, tension, tightness. Like, ah, oh, looking hard. And then release. Allow your eyes to close if it feels comfortable. And slowly, almost like savor this ease. It was just momentary. But when we put like too much effort into something, it, it gets just like, oh, like there's no room to breathe, right? Enjoying your breathing right now. And it helps you to deepen your breath. Bring one hand into your belly and then just continue like that. Deep, nice, full breaths and then exhale. Longer the better. If you can, bring the uh, breath all the way down towards the belly and then inhale. Shoulders down. Focus almost like your spine gently moving a little bit in and out or down and up when you are breathing like that. Filling in. Noticing the belly almost like expanding like a balloon. And then when you exhale, 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 all the way, spine rounding a little bit and draw the belly button in almost like close to the spine. So lower belly uh, muscles are active here. Big, nice moves. If you can make a little bit of like a constriction at the back of your throat, you may be feeling the sound of your own precious breath. Do three more like that, allowing your nervous system to really settle in this moment. Last time. Exhaling with a sigh if you like. As we begin to move, we're going to be doing a little bit of warm ups before we begin to use these weights or props, let's say, uh, to, to use or with the purpose of strengthening our muscles, let's say. So just with your inhalations, reach up all the way and then exhale down just simple this time when you take the arms up towards the sky bring them through the center line interlace the hands and then push them away from you as you round the spine like that you're coming into almost like a c chin to the chest and then with your inhalation take the arms up if the hands are not interlacing or if, if this doesn't feel comfortable for you keep the hands open but push them back, reach maybe gaze up a little bit, and then exhale slowly as you bring the hands back, feel the shoulder blades at the back and feel the shoulder blades coming close to each other. So elbows are a little bit at the back here. And then release. Same thing one more time, inhaling. Bring the hands through the center line, interlace the hands if it works for you push the hands away round the spine chin to chest exhale 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 and then when you inhale filling the lungs again lifting the arms up gaze up a little bit and then when you exhale hands or elbows are slightly a little bit backwards drawing the shoulder blades at the back close feel the activation of this rotator cuff muscles at the back release one last time same thing inhaling Exhale. Big rounding in the spine and then push the hands all the way. Now inhale again. Gaze up towards the hands and then exhaling slowly as you bring now. Feel your shoulder blades at the back. Hold the arms like that and then open the hands a little bit out to side. Roll the uh, wrists like that. 
and maybe a little bit of the uh, elbows also. So we're going to be using these weights. They are going to be very small weights. Uh, and we're not going to be doing a lot of uh, like curls with the uh, or putting too much uh, effort on the elbows or wrists. But it's always good to do something with the elbows and wrists. And in the past, I have injured myself. And so for this session, especially, I really want you to be aware of your body. I don't know your personal histories. You may have some issues with the arms. It's all good to do these things. But if you have any issues, please be careful. And anything, if I'm guiding you, doesn't feel right, don't do that. Or just let go of the weights. Circle, circle a little bit here. And then hold your arms really, or the shoulder blades close at the back. Feel the, almost like the intensity activation just beginning. And now start to make circles. Arms are straight, straighter. They don't have to be fully straight. Couple of more like that. Widening the circle. And now reverse. They can be small circles at the beginning, if you like. And then widen them larger, larger. And then one last time. Just hold it here. Push your hands a little bit backwards. And then slowly release. And just take a moment to feel. Almost like take a break. Maybe your arms are already feeling like, oh my God, we didn't even start the weights, right? So take a sip from your water, uh, if you like. And now take one of the, let's see, I'll, I'll, I think I'll use the cans of water. And for those of you who have just joined, if you don't have anything, um, any weights uh, handy, uh, don't worry about it. But cans of food, water bottles, or any other type of prop that you can have, uh, you can kind of grab with your hands is, is going to be helpful. So we're going to start. Um, nice and easy doodle by all and as i was saying earlier we won't have like big curves like that but it's going to be like almost in all of the movements uh arms are going to be like slightly curvy then uh they're not going to be full straight either neither of those are really i mean uh, either too much curve or maybe too straight are not really good for the joint so we're going to be somewhere in between almost like uh ha having a soft maybe a stance, let's say, with the hands. And we're going to start with hands facing down. As much as possible also, make sure that your hand and like forearm are on the same line, so you're not doing too much of this with the wrists as well. Now, having the hands uh, facing or palms facing down like that, sitting at the front edge of the chair, make sure that you are comfortable. Uh, those of you who would like to do those standing, you can do it also standing as well. So hands facing down. Start to bring your arms back as you bring your elbows closer to the body. They're almost like slightly going back. And notice you're going to be feeling a little bit of a squeeze at the back of the arms. So we're working almost like most of the moves with a sense of... Um, with a focus on a little bit more like on the triceps, I would say, the back of the arms and the shoulder uh, strength building. Uh, exhale. So if you want to coordinate this with the breath, it can be a little bit kind of faster. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Be gentle again with the elbows. And as I said earlier, really watch out to make sure that this all yelling is kind of comfortable for your body. Let's do three more times like that. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And this time just stay here, hold your arms like that. Notice where you are feeling the sensations. And as you exhale, turn the hands now down. They're a little bit kind of below or more like at the lower part of the um, abdomen uh, here. And we're going to be this time lifting up like halfway. If you are doing this standing, be my guest, just soften your uh, knees and then do it this way. If this feels comfortable, but the intensity will increase and your heartbeat is going to be kind of getting faster. Heat will be more as we do this. A couple of more like that. Exhaling, lifting. Inhaling. Exhale. 
you may be slowly like feeling these small tiny weights uh, that are kind of getting heavy or anytime if you want to take a break please do so or just drop the weights and then just use your hands you can almost like imagine sometimes people would call it like phantom weights as if like you have some weights you can also open your uh, fingers like that and uh, see activation in your upper part of the arms especially how kind of it differs let's do that two more times exhale exhale and just hold it here and then release just take a moment in between and we're gonna go for another round this time hands are gonna be a little bit lower uh almost like alongside the torso and then same thing almost like bigger version of the move same areas are being targeted almost like again uh of the upper arms shoulder area if you want to do this even sl uh, slower maybe your um breath is uh slow do my best slowly lift maybe even like hold and then lift you can come up with your own variations you, you are feeling probably like which part of the arms are being activated when you do this. And then release. And now we're going to change this slowly. Just take a moment to hold as we are transitioning from the spot way. Open the arms out to the side. Now take them up overhead. If lifting your arms like that doesn't feel comfortable, maybe you're bringing them at the front. That could be another option. But for some people with kind of uh, tightness in the shoulders, this may not be exactly easy. So I'll just watch out and choose the one that feels doable and comfortable for you. Exhale. Are you with me still? We'll keep going on like that as the movements will keep changing. And notice all through as we are doing this, we are not in a gym here. The idea is not like to promote, uh, like go to the gym and do this every day. But can you notice things are getting almost like a little bit difficult, right? And there's a lot of maybe effort in some of you. Just become aware of this sense of being in active, like involved, engaged, working hard mode. How does that feel? And then we'll check it again later when we come into this like ease mode. Please take a break as you need to, as we do this. Inhale, exhaling. I'm feeling my arms already. Uh, let's do that two more times. Exhaling. Inhaling. Last one here. Just hold your arms a little bit high. Feel again tons of effort here, I know. And then slowly release the hands. Bring them into a T-shape. Notice how that feels. Maybe a little bit of a relief, right? And just take a moment here. And I'm feeling also my heartbeat. Notice how your heartbeat is feeling right now. If you want to take a break, please do so. And then as we move on, we're going to do so-called like shoulder press. Your arms will lift up towards the sky. Maybe they will touch in between. If that is too much for you, you can do this like one arm at a time. Just like this and then try to hold your uh, arm or elbow let's say almost like parallel to the ground <laughs> and if it feels kind of too tiring maybe you're bringing here do that as well but otherwise either with both arms or one arm at a time and those of you who are doing this standing really come into a little bit like soften your knees so that things are going to be a little bit more manageable and I know things are getting really harder. The weights are maybe feeling too much. Maybe you're feeling your arms. Maybe I'll also do just one arm at a time. And it's almost like feeling, oh my God, there's so much effort in this. And then let's do one more time each side. 
and then slowly just come into a hole and now bring the uh, elbows closer towards the front and then just tiny teeny pulses here you don't change uh the angle almost like uh but just lifting and then releasing you're probably feeling a lot of the front of the uh, shoulders and then deltoid muscles and now slowly start to open your arms as we keep pulsing a lot of engagement in the upper arms i know and then just hold them here and then open them wide and then release just drop the uh weights to the side or down somewhere and take a moment to feel bring the attention to really to the upper arms deltoids almost like all the shoulder area Really now savor or get familiar with that sense of ease. Don't miss that. Like as we're doing this comparison, it gives a sense of how it makes things like different when we are in a constant efforting, constant doing mode versus, ah, that's kind of nice, no? Almost like automatically comes a, like a spacious presence. Just allow yourself to feel that. And roll your shoulders a few times. And let's do just a few stretches here. Uh, and then we're going to do some standing uh, moment right now. So bring one arm uh, to the front, almost like grab or, or have your hand or maybe elbow under uh, the elbow. And then reach to one side. Have the neck turning to the opposite side. Maybe do something with the hand and uh, wrists if you like. And then release, take the, arm, the other arm to the opposite side, turning in the opposite direction. And then release, just one last thing here, bring the hands at the back. It's going to be something like that, if the hands are interlacing, it's accessible for you. Reach back with the hands, there could be some options with this definitely. If it's difficult for you to interlace the hands like that, reach actively back. Or some other options could be just like almost like hook the thumbs to each other and then open the chest a little bit as you're stretching almost like this whole inner line of the arms. And any other things, again, sometimes like doing something with the hands and then stretching like that could feel good. Uh, something like that. And then one last thing would be bring your hand on the side here and then draw the elbow a little bit towards the front as you again gaze a little bit to the opposite side. This is also to stretch a little bit of the back and then the rotator cuff muscles at the back of the Release and then the other side again the hand is on your side and you're gently drawing it's not like a big move or so and if it is not accessible don't do that but otherwise just gently draw the elbow and then gaze towards the opposite side a little bit and then slowly release shake everything and then widen your stance or more like something that we are more familiar with. We're just going to do a little bit of stretches, almost like continuation, and then we'll do several other rounds. So we still have time. So bring your uh, forearm onto the thigh and reach up with the opposite hand around. And then bring the other the, uh, uh, um, forearm down and then reach with the other hand. Moving like that a few times. Your stance is quite wide. Knees are opening out to the side. You can also have a little bit of action going on. So when you bring the forearm onto your leg, you're almost like opening it out a little bit. So pushing the knee away. And then let's do one more time each side. And then slowly lift up or come back to the center. And just taking these to the side. And then we will slowly come up from here. 
but we're gonna do the warm-up for the legs almost like seated so with this one one knee will come to the center and then release you can have the arms also like first arms opening up and then bring the knee to the chest arms open exhale draw the other knee One more time each side. And then now just walking in place or jogging in place after the other And then just stay here for a moment, notice the change. Again, maybe your heartbeat or maybe size of heat in the body is slightly different. Take a sip from your water if you like in the meantime. And then we're gonna be slowly coming into a standing uh, moment. And a lot of times we do the uh, chair pose, which is really like the key thing uh, to build leg strength. Inhaling, arms reach up. Exhaling, leaning forward a little bit, almost like tilting forward, arms reach back. Slowly, uh, almost like experiment with shifting your weight completely onto to your feet, almost like not, not much uh, weight on your uh, buttocks here. Inhale again. Exhale. And next time we're gonna come into slowly like a chair pose, inhaling. And then next time, as the arms reach back, shift your weight completely onto your uh, feet. Maybe take your hands onto the chair if you like here, but lift the hips, buttocks are off the chair, just one inch. Stay here and then just tiny, teeny pulses here. Engage your belly to hold you almost like stronger here. And then slowly, as you press your feet firmly down, open your arms out to the side. And then come up into a standing position. Exhale, make a circle. Yeah. Exhale, arms cross just more for momentarily. Inhale. This time hold the arms reaching up high like that. In a big V, maybe parallel to each other, it's all good. Feel your stance, maybe it's slightly wider, almost like um, shoulder width apart. Drop the shoulders down. And then you are ready. Can you lift your heels to find a balance here? And then notice how things get tricky. Engage your belly again. Maybe find a, like a, a stable point in front of you. Just gaze there. And then as you exhale, release the heels. Turn the palms to face out. And then draw the hands down slowly, 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 becoming aware of all the sensations in your fingertips. As you, at the end, bring your hands, one hand in your belly, one hand on your chest. And breathe. Come up with this moment and then this posture, this position, like you are no longer seated. Feel yourself standing on your two feet, almost like strong feet, really grounded, planted down. And you're breathing. Notice the breath, notice all the sensations, soles of your feet or your hands touching to your body, sense of strength in your legs, upper body, spine upright, almost like standing, find that inner almost like liftedness and as you exhale release the hands open your eyes if they were closed so for the next round round maybe we're gonna focus or we, we will bring more of legs and arms will also continue so have one of the weights if you want you can have both in your hands actually again if you don't have any weights no no problem you can just stay without them but have uh the chair uh 
handy so you can uh, continue to get support from um, the chair and at the beginning uh, let's actually do this one also to activate the ankles a little bit lifting the heels dropping a couple of rounds like that to really activate the leg muscles including the calves and then the quads and then just stay feel the sensations again in your legs even in your bones this kind of shaking stuff is really good for the bones so then we lift and then drop the heels and then there's almost like vibration happening you may be noticing that so it's, it's a really good thing to do you know, several times uh during the day so we'll we'll do crane pose in, in yoga uh in that one you are on one leg uh, it's not uh, the tree pose but leg basically bends like that and then you open the arms this could be one way if you are familiar with the pose you can do it almost like this way but we're going to be doing with uh, a little bit more like supported version so one hand with or without the weight will continue to be uh, resting on the chair open one arm out to the side and then lift the knee and then slowly tap the big toe bring the elbow a little bit almost like close it doesn't have to come all the way down so it's just like from the side coming a little bit closer that's the action when the uh, big toe taps down and then lift it up and those of you who would like who feels kind of balance is completely fine maybe if you want to do this like a uh, both or uh, arms open or maybe just go with one leg only it doesn't mean that uh you're doing less you will see uh because the main thing is happening with the leg arm is kind of just assisting me <laughs> so i know it also uh, works quite a lot so do that maybe two more times And next time when you have it like that, hold the leg and hold the arm. If everything is feeling okay, maybe lift that hand and then maybe open both arms. And then slowly release. Ah, really make that sound almost like and let go of any tension. We forget to do this at the end and then the tension or stress in our body keeps building i'm just going to move my chair to the other side because i'm doing the other side but please feel free to just stay on the same side and then just keep going maybe turn your back or something again find the support maybe check even like right now any difference between the legs one side is probably feeling a little bit more active right and then as we move on We'll begin by like shifting the weight completely on this leg that's close to the chair and this leg is empty so it's, it's going to be moving but the, the weight is going to be with this one and then open the arms or oh, one arm to the side and then when you bend the knee bring the elbow or hand a little bit closer not like a big folding we're not doing it just tiny bit of move this requires actually when the arm is uh, straighter i guess um it engages more uh, muscles muscle groups in the upper arms especially so keep going like that exhaling when the action is a lot happening and then inhaling and things kind of release bending and straightening And let's do three more. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Last one here, just hold it here and then open as you hold the uh, leg, open the arm. 
you add the other one and then see what's happening or make it almost like more wobbly intentionally and then see what's <laughs> it gets tricky really good engagement for the belly as we kind of explore this no judgment if you ended up even like falling down no problem and then slowly release the foot release the arms and roll the shoulders and you can drop these to the side for a moment i'm just going to place the chair to the side again we're not going to be exactly using it anymore maybe taking a little bit of more water now for this one we're going to be targeting mostly the triceps back of the arms which is considered as a bit like a, like a problem, I would say. Many people will have a lot of judgments about, including myself, uh, on my own uh, arms. So for this one, let me just show it from the side. So your stance is about a bit apart. So doing this standing, I think, is not that difficult. But if you want to go ahead and sit, you can do that too. And lean a little bit forward, not in a big way and then have the arms straight back so when you do this you will feel activation especially at the back like this fiber group they're uh, targeting all the muscles and keep them straight here and then you're doing tiny pulses back and every time when you do this push back a little back just a little bit back but arms are really straight you're completely or mostly let's say using the triceps staying engaged like that for those of you who would like to kind of try or add up a little bit of intensity you can come and do this on one leg and then maybe do something with the leg as well again it's just completely optional keep pushing back arms are straight left thing you're feeling probably the squeeze of your arms in quite a big way backwards backwards and then we're gonna change this from almost like up and back to closer towards each other they're not gonna touch but a little bit more or maybe like continued uh, engagement of the arms knees are soft keep the spine long as much as possible neck is long you don't need to look at uh, down I, was, I found myself looking down but just keep the neck long spine long here you're trying to almost like extend your arms down and then you bring them closer almost like trying to achieve as if they would touch each other kiss them each other but they're not going to do that and now one more variation of this just hold your arms like that and tiny teeny almost like you're now pushing them in this lifted position backwards so there is a little bit of movement here happening or curl maybe tiny teeny all along the tricep muscles are very active and we like maybe a few more rounds let that feel what's happening the sensations like this in your, your upper arms how active they are and then we will slowly release and then again take a moment to notice and with the uh weights or things in your hand take a moment now to really do this nice and easy if you want to drop them you know, rest again and then let your arms swing side to side invite some ease and nice sense of like oh i can do anything with my arms i don't have to do the same thing like you know same action a ton of times so allow yourself to just enjoy the ease And just take a moment to maybe just come to the center in between. And one last thing before we go down and do good, nice shavasana. Open your stance wide. 
And then we're gonna do like a goddess pose variation. Again, I, I don't think this will really need uh, a chair, but if you wanna go ahead and do that seated, maybe you can do that. For this one, arms are gonna be at the front if I turn to the side like that. Arms are gonna be at the front and we're gonna be doing a very simple move of just like bringing them, uh, let's see, let's start here, bringing them up a little bit. Just like tiny, teeny pulses. And for the uh, leg position, those of you who would like to take more action or kind of more heat if you want, you can go all over and then do the same thing, kind of variation of server as they call these things, tiny, teeny lifting up. And if this gets too much, your legs are maybe almost like fully straight, maybe with a gently, gentle bend in your uh, knees. So watch out for that. And keep doing that. Arms are almost uh, reaching all the way to the front. Lifting up, lifting up. And then now just variation of the same thing. Just hold your arms like that for a moment. Now down. Feel a little bit of, uh, I mean, it's almost similar, but just gently the action as if like you're not pushing the hands downwards compared to earlier one which you were lifting as if there is like some resistance for your hands maybe if you want to go lower for that notice the heartbeat again if this is too much don't do that or just drop the weights and then now slowly take the weights down and then turn the arms out to the side hold them here like that and then up and down. Arms don't have to be fully straight. Have them a little bit kind of turning uh, or slight curved, let's say. And then maybe go really low this time at the end. We are at the end. This is the peak. And then just hold your hands like that. Just simple lifting up, lifting up, lifting up. And if you are still with me, congratulations. You're doing great. If you're not still with me, that's still perfect. Just lift them up. You're doing your best. You're really listening to your body and you're staying connected with your body. That's what matters. And then very slowly, as you're really feeling this whole peak, almost like effort, start to straighten your legs. Feel or invite a little bit of ease in your legs. And gently bring the uh, arms also toward the center. I'm just going to place these to the side and take one hand in your belly one hand in your chest again allow the breath to self-regulate allow this sense of like a lot of effort just finished and now just enjoying this just this present moment with all of its actions maybe a lot happening in the physical body Maybe some thoughts are kind of spinning still in your mind. And then as you release the hands, we're going to go all the way down to the ground now. For those of you who may have hard time to go all the way down, you can do this maybe getting support from the chair and then one knee at a time. And then sitting all the way and then turning uh, your face up, we're going to go all the way down. I'm just going to place the chair to the side. So finding all of us ourselves slowly on the ground. And then grab your blanket also somewhere handy in case if you're going to use them. And then very slowly grabbing the back of the legs bring yourself down and when you do that just take a moment to notice just like one more almost like big change in, in this whole sequence we are on the ground right and just notice the like difference in sensations maybe your body is feeling oh my god i'm so glad this sense of like really relaxation and support allow yourself to feel that really there is support underneath right now and then gradually, when you're ready, draw the knees towards your chest. 
Rock a little bit side to side. And then make circles with your hands, almost like on the kneecaps or maybe behind the legs, it's all good. A few rounds of uh, circles like that. Both knees are moving in the same direction. And then reverse in the opposite direction. The circle. And now release, bring your um, feet down to the ground. Just take a moment for your pelvis, actually just like small tilts. It's not gonna be a whole bridge pose, but feel there is a bit of a curve here now in your low back. Just move your pelvis a little bit like that, up and down. When you exhale, almost like flatten the curve at the back, engage the belly. Exhale. Neutral. Exhale, almost flat. And release. This simple, almost like hard to observe moment. Now straighten your legs. Um, just a little bit of a stretch as well before we come into the shavasana. Reach up with the hands, um, maybe at the back. Again, if it works for you, interlace the hands and then reach back, 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 back. And do something for your almost like shoulder blades. Just move them a little bit. If the hands are not interlacing, arms are still reaching somewhere overhead, let's say, area. It could be even like up here. But just take a few moments, almost like move your um, upper torso shoulder blade area muscles a little bit and then do a little bit more of this maybe with the hands and reach back one more time and then bring the um, feet and hands on the same side so you're coming into a little bit like a seat here back to the center and then now a secure to the opposite side. So both feet and hands are moving in the same direction. And then back to the center and roll the knees towards your chest again. Just take a few moments to circle. And then dropping the knees to side to side, open your arms out to the side. A few moments of like moving one side and then to the other side. If you wanna go for a like full twist, you can do that too. But otherwise, um, we're just moving side to side to release any tension, tightness, or maybe if the joints around the hips uh, are not exactly comfortable or something doesn't feel right. So letting things to come uh, almost like neutralize or stabilize again. And then as you come to the center next time, um, just again, focusing on the shoulder area, lift like one shoulder at a time. Looks like a weird action, but we're moving everything around the shoulders. There are tons of kind of both muscles, ligaments, joint area stuff is just like many, many pieces there. So just move them a little bit and then even turn your head a little bit side to side kind of faster version and then now take the legs and arms up towards the sky stay in this one this is called bed bug roll your wrists and ankles a little bit and then as the last invitation from me if you want to do something else you can of course do this now start to shake everything Shake, 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 shake. Deep, nice breaths. And then release everything. Let go. You can have your legs straight or maybe knees bent. Uh, the space between your uh, feet is wide, knees are spraying towards each other. Hands could be on your belly or open out to the side. Eyes closed. 
Turn the attention inwards. Stay here. I'm just gonna come into a seated position. Goodbye. With a few words. As you come into the end of this practice, just taking a moment in Shavasana, a final relaxation pose. Almost like final opportunity to really get connected with your whole being. Notice your body, this precious body that helped you to go through this whole cycle of moments. Notice the points touching to the ground. If you are seated or lying down. Notice the sensations under your feet, under your buttocks or entire back body, your legs, your arms. And as you let go, almost like the heaviness of the body, feel the support under it. And relax a little bit. You did a lot of, you put a lot of effort into this. Now it's time to just enjoy. And if it resonates with you, you can just mentally almost like melt. As you rest in the support of the mother of the underneath. I'm held and supported. I let go. I'm held and supported. I let go. Held and supported. I let go. Resting here, allowing yourself to really enjoy the ease now. In your union of yourself, your whole being, your yoga, your body, your mind, your breath. Oh, I'm a little bit more aligned, maybe just getting a glimpse, getting a sense of how it feels after all the effort, just being at ease. And very slowly start to feel your breath again. And let it be a little bit bigger, fuller, more active. As you notice the body, entire body expanding and contracting with the breath again, maybe bring some movement into your hands, fingers, wrists moving, wiggling, your toes, ankles, feet. If it feels comfortable or if it feels like doing, maybe you take the arms up overhead, reach up, 
Nice, feel yourself long again. And then make a circle with the arms, draw the knees towards your chest. Give yourself a hug. And have a real sense of you are hugging your own precious being. And say something nice, thing, nice, like nicest thing that you can think of yourself for today. Maybe it could be just like, oh my dear. Just thank you maybe for this practice. So find a way to connect with your own being in a sense of like, oh, thank you. Oh, like, nice to connect. Maybe you're not in good terms with yourself. Maybe like, okay, we'll do it, but I don't need it. But try your best to feel like really in a deep way. You are really your closest friend at the end of the day. And then turn to one side, maybe drop the knees to one side. And then slowly come up into a seated position. And as you find an upright spine again, find yourself in this moment. End of the practice. Another opportunity to recognize again everything that you have. Body, mind, breath. And when you feel ready and if it resonates with you, bring your chin to the chest to bow to the light within. Namaste. Thank you so much.